Richard Harwell. This was in response to a video I did called Soil Test Kits that to Avoid. I used one of these soil tests a while back and I was not impressed. It just looked like a fertilizer brochure when I got the results back. Then I noticed the, others influ the other influencers would have a soil test that they were promoting that was basically the same company and the recommendations would come back with their fertilizers. It seems like this is more of a marketing ploy than a soil test. Yeah, let me confirm that for you. Okay, <laughs> you are correct. Home soil tests, with the exception of one soil test um, that I know of. Um, when I'm talking about home soil tests, I'm talking about the soil tests that use this little ion exchange beads. Those are that's just all smoke and mirrors. It's all hogwash. Okay, there is a home soil test. In fact, I wasn't going to go into this, but let me pull it up because I can't remember the name of it. I'm going to put this in the in the chat if you really are interested in um, doing something at home and you want to know what is actually a valid soil test kit. That's I put it in the chat. It's 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 soilkit.com. That's soil yeah soilkit.com. Now when you do that, I I've, I haven't ever actually done it, but I was sort of in communication with some people that were designing it and working on it. When you do that, the Sample goes into um, a kit, just, I mean, just like a mail home thing, just like you would normally get from some of the other, um, uh, oops, some of the other home lawn kits. Okay. It would, you're going to send it, you're going to put it in a little container, you're going to mail it in. Um, but a normal soil extraction is done on it. A normal soil test uh, extraction is used on it, Malik 3. And like I said, because the, because I don't know what Auburn does exactly. But I know at University of Florida, the soil kit company works with the University of Florida and they adjust the interpretations based upon the University of Florida's data with the faculty, not, not the big mama UF. Okay. It's the faculty, the turf faculty at UF. Okay. So whenever a, a correlation or con a, a calibration is conducted at UF and they find more refined numbers, they adjust that through that through that program. The interpretation is adjusted rapidly, very quickly. You don't have to go through a bunch of other hoops and stuff. They can make that adjustment quickly. Okay. So if you want a home test kit, I mean, I don't sell them. I don't make any money on them or anything, but if you want a home test kit, that's what I would use. Um, rather than these other kit test kits that are, I'm, I'm sure soil kit probably has products that they also would like for you to buy. I'm not saying they don't, I'm, I don't know. Um, but the test itself is valid. At least that's valid. I don't mind someone trying to sell you something. I mean, if that's what capitalism is about, but do so in an honest upfront way, don't do it with a soil kit test that is completely invalid or maybe not completely invalid, but is not supported by evidence. Okay. That's the issue with the soil test um, resin bead that you'll often see and, and that permeates YouTube. 